the wheel moves forwards. How crazy is that? You asked, I'm delivering part two. Free night, free coaster. Coast, cassette. Coast, cassette. Today, we are here with the Planetary Free Night, Free Coaster for a second day of experimenting. I had a ton of questions on this thing and we're going to answer them. The first questions kind of ask a little bit about engagement and what it takes to engage this thing while it's faking. So let's get into this one right now. I don't have anybody to film me today, so we've got this angle from far away, but it should work and you should be able to see what we're looking for. Okay, I'm not sure if you could see that or not, but I almost did a full ET while going backwards. So I'm gonna slow down a little and try and show you a little better. Literally, I just took a full crank while faking and using this thing and it did not engage. So it takes some serious pedal pressure. I'm gonna try it one time and hope that I don't break the hub. just won't do it so that's experiment number one how much does it take to engage it I don't really know because it won't engage for me we can keep trying but I don't know feels like we might break it if we force it too much and I was pedaling pretty hard So the conclusion of that experiment is that you have to pedal hard while you're going backwards for it to engage, but it did engage and I did turn it around with pedal pressure. It might be something that you can figure out the finesse to and do it on purpose. And it didn't feel like it was gonna break anything, so maybe it will work. All oh, right there, you almost, did you have pedal pressure just now? Yeah. Interesting. Yo, did you just have pedal pressure? You did, okay. So he back pedaled before he whipped it around. I wonder if that gives you pedal pressure. Can I see it? Yeah. I wanna try that. The people have been asking if you can make pedal pressure by doing something while you're faking, and it looks like you just did. So, let's say we fake it for a little bit, and then we try it. Okay, so it looks like what you have to do is do a slight back pedal and then put your pressure on and you'll have a cassette to turn it around. Once you get good at that, if you use your pedal pressure as a full cab or five cab, you'll probably be able to get into the same motion. But if you try to five tap it, it's going to be a coaster. Oh. As soon as you hit reverse, it's coaster. Like, mess around with it a little with. Oh, I see what you mean there. There's nothing there, right? Yeah. You confirming that? Because the only proof that I have of that is Cody trying five tap on flat ground and dying. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I got half crank over that. Did you see that? Crazy, right? You can make it engage. Kinda, yeah. Okay, now let it stop, and then roll it backwards. Instant. Isn't that Dude, crazy? Like that. That's, That's cause there's never been anything like really? it. Yeah. So the next question that was asked is, can you force the wheel backwards with a bit of pedal pressure? I'm assuming that means pedaling it backwards. And I found that something really interesting happens when you pedal this thing backwards. Check this out. The wheel starts to move forwards when you pedal it backwards. I was pulling the brakes just now. So the wheel, okay, everything's at a stop. We're gonna pedal backwards. The wheel moves forwards. How crazy is that? I think it's because of the gearing inside it. So now pedal forwards and it was instant cassette. Stop it backwards. 
So that's pretty crazy. And now there's a few other questions. So the next question was, what if you're moving backwards really slowly? So first, we're setting, pedaling forwards. Now we're moving backwards. What happens if we push down? No engagement, we're still moving backwards. There's the engagement. So now, let's move backwards again. Nothing. So what it takes to engage this thing while you're going backwards is a lot. And then as soon as you start to move backwards again, it's coasting again. Cassette, we're pedaling forwards. Now we move backwards. No pedal pressure. Engage it. Move forward. Backward. No pedal pressure until we engage it. So this is some very fine-tuned stuff here. Now another question that was asked is if you're coasting backwards and you don't have your feet on the pedals, does it pedal them backwards? So we're gonna go over here a little bit and we're gonna find that out. Very clear answer to that one. No, the pedals do not move whenever it's coasting backwards. Now let's take a break for a second from an experiment and actually do some riding and riding with a free coaster. Let's try and do some fakie crank flips, fakie bar spins, just regular old free coaster stuff and see what happens. So the first thing we gotta do is just a regular old fakie hop to make sure that nothing's going to engage and that it works and then we'll start throwing tricks. That was good. Okay. Now, try and crank flip, but I crank flip with the wrong foot forward, so I have to half back them. More speed. See that instant engage. We're gonna do a test. This is gonna be mid fakie crank flip test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the fakie, and then I'm gonna just jump off the bike. So it, in theory, should still be in coaster mode. I'll even push it backwards to prove it. And then I'm gonna jump on and go and see if there's any slack. We're still in coaster, I mean. So we're still in coaster, still in coaster. Jump on the bike, instant. We're gonna try that another, and I'm not gonna move the bike before I jump on it, because that could be part of it. So pedaling, coastering, coastering, coastering. We didn't move the bike. Instant engagement, not instant, because it's not a profile leap, but as instant as you can get with three paws in a cassette hub. This is very, very interesting. Next question is, what happens if the wheel stops spinning backwards? Do you have pedal pressure? And is it in cassette mode? Do you have to engage it again? Let's find that out right now. So, pedaling forward, we're in cassette, coast it. We have no pedal pressure, we're pedaling it forward. Let it stop. Do we have cassettes still? Instantly it goes. Does it go backwards? Yes, it does. Are we in cassette? We are in coaster. It stops. Instant cassette. So it seems that it does have to be moving forward for it to engage to go backwards. I'm not really sure what implications that has but that's the way it works. Huh. I wondered how that trick was gonna work and it worked just fine. And instantly, okay. As soon as I landed that crank flip coming from coaster mode, it was in cassette mode and I could just pedal forwards immediately after I landed. And I noticed that on one of the fakie crank flips too. As soon as I landed and I messed up, got on the bike, pedal forward, it was instantly in cassette mode no slack whatsoever. So we got the fake crank flip. We showed a little bit of pedal pressure stuff. Let's try a fakie bar. Are you kidding me? That was nuts. First try. That worked. All right, let's move on. Dude, that was really cool. I like this hub. So one other thing people asked about was crank flips. I don't know how I haven't thought of this till now, but let's try some crank flip stuff. Mm. 
Nice. Six in one line, yes. So the next question, if there's a little bit of pedal pressure or any pedal pressure before you start faking, does it engage? We're gonna find that out by coming up the quarter and applying pedal pressure before we go back down it and seeing what happens. So that answers that question. If you're actually applying pressure, yes. But as soon as you let off of that pressure, it's going to be coasting immediately. Even if you've taken a half crank, it's going to be coasting. If you push down and then let up, it's going to coast. All right, another break from experiments. We're gonna do <laughs> fakey hops over this pyramid hip and see if we can do some tricks maybe. There you go. So this is probably obvious to everyone with a coaster, but it's a lot more controlled when you have a free coaster and you're faking without that. Should do half cap candy bar first. Oh, that's a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna say it. I really like a free coaster. <laughs> Yeah! You know what that means? You know what that means, right? That means I'm gonna pull it. Oh! Yeah! Yes! That's it, that's the ender. Yes! Whew. Hopefully you guys got something out of this experiment. If you're checking this out from somewhere else besides my channel subscribe we got tons of videos like this a couple others with the internals and stuff and uh thanks for watching hopefully we'll see you next time i've got a full review coming in a couple weeks goodbye <laughs>